Hello and welcome to Night Parade, the show where we watch anime and talk about it for your entertainment. I'm Fat Man. I'm Venus. And tonight, Kino Maru Sumo, because I made you watch it. <laughs> yes, you did. And why... I loved it. Question, why do I watch the weirdest sports shows? Because the weirdest sports shows are usually the most interesting ones. Today, Sumo, maybe Karuta some other time. <laughs> so, before we get into this, this is a spoiler warning. We really yeah. like this show. We would both recommend it. So if you don't want to get the show spoiled for you, please go watch it beforehand. I'd suggest the manga instead. Because they cut out some stuff, but that's about it. It's still enjoyable, though. Right? Oh, yeah. They just cut out some stuff that you actually kind of want to see, because it's actually shockingly pleasant. Well, most animes are advertisements for the manga. So Fair enough. No surprise. You're not wrong. But moving on. Before we begin, for any of you who don't know what sumo is, we're going to talk about that real quick. Yes. Inomaru Sumo is a sports anime revolving around the sport that is sumo. Hence the name. Yes. It's about our dude Hinomaru. He does sumo. It's not as boring as it sounds. <laughs> Would you care to describe sumo for us real quick? Okay, okay, so the basics of sumo is two absolute units come at each other until one of them either gets knocked out of the ring or falls over. But it's actually got more rules than that. You can't touch the ground with anything other than the soles of your feet. You can't punch elbow, or kick. It's just slaps and grapples. Yeah. It means you can slap the ever-living shit out of someone. <laughs> like, right across the face. Right? Yep. Everything else is legal. Except for maybe biting. Probably no biting. Headbutt? Sure, knock yourself out. Literally, knock yourself out. With a headbutt. <laughs> Slap them across the face so hard they get, they get knocked out? Legal. Break someone's arm? Throwing them? Eh, that's legal. Oh, there's also no weight class, so, uh, get huge, you must. Think about that, dude. So? The more you weigh, the more advantaged you are. Yeah. In a good way. And a terrifying way. Some of the guys in this anime are huge. <laughs> They do not look like high schoolers. I think this is the only anime where they do not look like high schoolers besides JoJo's. Huh. Right? Yeah. And I think they're bigger than some JoJo's characters. <laughs> the, the antagonist makes fucking Joseph Joestar look like a small fry. Wait, they make um, Jonathan look like a small fry. We're talking about Kuze? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, Kuze, Kuze is a beast. Dude, Kuze is terrifying. And he's... Not only is he huge, it's all muscle. Right? Yeah. Man's gotta be like seven feet of muscle. <laughs> and girth. Big meaty man. Except for our main character. He's only meaty. Yes. Main but dude, Hinamaru, the star of the show. He wants to be a Yokozuna someday. A Yokozuna is the highest rank a sumo wrestler can be. But one issue, he's sure. What's his official listed height? He's a tiny little man. I I'm gonna figure out his official listed height. Eat. Also, I'm gonna give you Kuze's listed height while we're here. <laughs> Okay. Kuze is 6'3". That is how tall I am. Holy shit. You and Kuze are the same height. Yep. Terrifying, right? I am... <laughs> I am nowhere near him in terms of muscle, though. I'm just fat. <laughs> 
Kino Maru is just at five feet. Wow. Wait, no. He's like Kino Maru is like four eleven. Jeez, he's short. He he's just a hair taller than me. Oof. But so dear God, is he swole? <laughs> That's so. actually terrifying now. So you can already see where this is going. Our main character wants to be a Yokozuna more than anything. He wants to be this high-class sumo wrestler. But sumo he was not gifted with a large body. He's this tiny dude going up against all these other monster sumo wrestlers. Who doesn't love an underdog story? Yeah, this is the greatest one, at least in anime, <laughs> right? It's pretty good. Now that we've got that out of the way, probably fucking talk about hype this show is. <laughs> we can get to that, but <laughs> okay. before we do, we should talk about how all of our main characters meet up. Right. We. Oh yeah, we have we have a nice cast of characters. <laughs> it's so true, though. Sorry. Yeah. But, okay. We've got our main character, short sack with a dream, small redhead too angry to bend the knee to basically anything, even the 6'3 behemoth that is Kruse. So, he's going around looking to join a uh, a high school sumo club. And he finds one. He ends up joining the Odachi High School sumo, sumo club. Where we meet our favorite character, the precious cinnamon roll, uh, Ozaki. He's the team captain. Captain! And he's literally the most precious guy, right? He is a gentle giant. Calm-headed, patient, meticulous. loyal. Yes. A bit anxious, but what do you expect? He got bullied for his girth. Yeah. Shinya Could couldn't participate in any tournaments because no one would join the sumo club. Because the they thought it was that, lame. For the three years that he was the club captain at Odachi High. Until Hinomaru was like, I am in awe at the size of this man. And his... <laughs> And his fucking giant legs. And then he joins the sumo club. Yeah. And the two somehow, slowly but surely, make an actual team. They recruit the bully, they recruit the jock, they recruit a Nerd. shrimp that loves sumo. They recruit a kind of whiny lady. They recruit my man, the coach. Best character, right? Suji. Mm-hmm. His final episode, dude, that- the Suji episode made me cry. <laughs> like, the, from the episode name to the fight in it, it was sad, dude. That man is a beast. Yeah. He scares me. So, Suji was a sumo wrestler in middle school. And Hinomaru's best friend. But afterwards, he developed a lung condition that only lets him fight for about 20 seconds. 25 seconds is his max. And in those 5 seconds, he needs to fucking end you. Oh, that last fight was scary. Yeah, he went from, oh crap, I have to retry, to, and his team going, oh shit, he has to redo his match? To start of the match, grab the big dude, grab his shoulder, and flip. <laughs> right? That match was over instantly. It's like, hi, I'm Suji. I have a lung condition. <clears throat> I can't breathe right now. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him, though. But he got to ex he got to live the limelight for a while. I know, but. If he didn't have that condition, he could be one of the greatest sumo wrestlers in this show. Yeah, because he's smart, too. I think he's the smartest character next to the coach. Well, next to the Ozaki, right? 
Which one is that again? Uh, the big dude, Captain. Oh yeah, Coach. Well, oh, Captain. Yeah, he's the coach. <laughs> uh... Until, until the end. But my word, he scares the shit out of me. <laughs> right? You showed me a picture from the manga. From the manga after the time skip, and he just is scary. I can't... <laughs> He's so intimidating. I wanna. I you wanna? Kind of wanna read the manga, but I also wanna wait to see if they do another season. I suggest the manga anyways, because they cut out a fair amount of the romance subplot with Reina and Tino Maru, which is <sighs> unfortunate, right? Yeah, they're so cute together. Yeah, but they only sort of get- they, they barely hint at it in the show, right? Yes, but even just watching the show I picked up on it. Ah, uh, but yeah, I love most of these characters. Right? Yeah. Is there a character we didn't like? I didn't like Reyna starting out. No one likes Reyna starting out. Reyna is like mean lady go away. But right? at the end she's best girl. Second best girl, you mean? Nope. I'm not budging. Are we gonna have a waifu war? Fight. What about the other girl in the sumo club? I mean, yeah. She's okay. I just like her. She just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, she you met, you met her in the first episode. Oh, did we? She was the girl um, that Hinomaru stopped on the subway. Uh, who uh, grabbed the dude who was harassing a girl on the subway. She's the girl. Oh. Yeah. I just like her because she's adorable. And for the longest time I was like, Reina bad. <laughs> I just like how flustered Raina gets. Yes. Wins. I guess this, I guess this sport doesn't suck, Babaka. <laughs> right? We don't sound very hype right now. But we are hype. We should change that. How Let's do we talk change about our the hype? Fights. The hype. The hype part. The fights. <laughs> the fights, my dude. The characters are great and all, but great characters are only accentuated by the great fights, right? Yes. This show is just so packed full of emotion. Every single fight you feel a little bit of something, right, dude? Yes. The Some fights these... are the ultimate clashing of wills, pitting I've... spirit versus spirit. I've actually cried during some of these fights. I had respect for sumo wrestlers before watching this. I learned about them in school, and I just... I don't know, I just get so excited watching this. It makes me want to go punch things. <laughs> or it makes you want a sumo asshole. No, not sumo specifically, but it just fills me with energy. Like... I I was watching this at one point, and, like, when this show came out, my twin is a huge fan of the manga. Yeah. So this is just, like, a side thing. I low-key, when he said that I told him this it was getting an anime, he, he started doing fucking sumo slam, like, sumo training shit in my room. Like stomping? Stomping, the sliding. <laughs> and he's just like... You're serious. You should watch it. I'm like, but how <laughs> how how hype can how hype can it be? I'm I'm not. How hype can it be? <laughs> Incredibly hype. It has all. It has almost as much hype as JoJo. I'd argue more hype. Right? <sighs> it is the hype. It's like Vegeta from the Abridged series. He is the hype. <laughs> right? Wonderful. But, oh my god, which fight scene was your favorite? I mean, all of them are amazing, but, like, which one was your favorite? My favorite fight was Mitsuhashi's last fight. Oh my god, it was so good! <laughs> it, I was so 
happy when he took down his opponent, and then I was immediately met with sadness. Yeah, okay. We should probably tell him about Mitsuhashi a little. Mitsuhashi has lost every fight he's participated he's ever been in. in. He's the smallest one in the group. He's the small, nerdy guy. Even even the guy with the lung condition is better than him. <laughs> he just... He doesn't have weight. He doesn't have size. He doesn't have skill in sumo. He doesn't have previous fighting experience like, like the other members of the team. But he's so enthusiastic about the sport. He loves sumo, and he wants to help his team. But every time he steps into the arena, he loses. Because there's someone bigger and more skilled than him. And because he doesn't have the stature or the weight or the skill, he fights using what most would call dirty tactics. Because that's all he has. That's what he, that's what he can specialize in. He's like... Oh, you're gonna run at me? Clap it! Let me clap right in front of your face. Throw you off balance. Uh, get some false starts to unnerve you. Pop behind you and try to push you out of the ring. That's he, all you got? He gives it his all. And it was um, so... It was such an amazing fight. I was so happy watching him. And then he wait. forces his opponent out. And the ref calls for a rematch, because they ruled they both got out at the same time. And he's just crushed. And he immediately loses his second match. This was yeah. the last... This was his last fight in the show. And, and it, I, assume, I think it was his last fight, period? Till, like, next year. That's the fight that made me cry. You know, my fight's actually related to that fight. My fight is the one for, uh, the coach. Yeah. You know? That fight? It was Suji versus Sawa. Mm hmm And so, a, a little bit of explanation is, during the show, during the fight, he feels partial. Like, they have to fight even if they down a teammate, and... So the little guy convinced him to be the, like, in case of injury guy, because he can't fight due to his condition. But he's just like, you know what? You love this sport too much. You gotta do something, right? Yeah. And so he convinces him to be the... The stand-in. The stand-in. And little guy fucks up his arm and his leg. And so, Suji is in. You you see him take off his fucking glasses, and he's just like, he stares his buddy, whom he suggested with the dirty tricks, and says, this one's for you, bud. <sighs> and gives it his all. And they fight for 20 seconds. 25? And, well, the first time they fight for 20 seconds, and both fall out of the ring at the same time. Calling another rematch, and he's basically a living zombie at that stage. And, and until this point, his limit has been 20 seconds. But then, he gets back in the ring, and goes even further beyond! Like a Super Saiyan, JK, no matter. He just becomes scary. Right? Yes. He just... He gave me chills. He just... He goes from analytical to... I've got, like, counting down the seconds to, I can't breathe. I've got one move left in me. And then he baits the guy into rushing him, and then just grabs him, and just full-blown picks the dude up and twists him, knocking him to the ground in less than a second. <sighs> it was awesome. This show is a spectacle. It is a spectacle. They even named the they even named the takedowns. Right? Yes. And All the fighters have their one killing move or multiple special attacks. They're all named. It's <laughs> cuz it's anime as hell, right? Oh, it's the best. It it's so 
bananas. I love it. <laughs> and like, every time someone gets knocked down, there's usually just like a thing, like, for each character. Like a, like a graphic that shows up on the screen when they do their takedown? Yeah. And it's great. Like, the best example of this is like, when the main character finally takes down the unit that is the antagonist, it's just like, demon motif, and he's like, DEMON DROP! It's awesome. So, <clears throat> this is perfect for this show. What is? Can I see? Oh, it, it, it's not a picture, but the first time I... Well, you had talked about reviewing this show while episodes were coming out weekly. Yeah. And you are the one that convinced me to watch it. But as yeah. soon as... I saw that Hinam one of Hinamaro's main moves is called the Hundred Demon Throw. I knew we yeah. had to talk about it on this show. Hundred Demon Throw, dude. It's killer. Because both that move and this show are named after the Night Parade of a Hundred Demons. Absolutely. It's like, perfect. And no one... That and you know I have a penchant for weird and slightly obscure anime. Yeah. It's strange, my in I have strange interests in anime. <laughs> right. Well Hinomaru as like a character always has a demon motif to him. Yeah. Like in the show his nickname is Onimaru. Oni meaning demon. Demon. Maru being his name. Oh, I never picked well, up on that. Wow, I feel silly. Onima <laughs> Hinamaru, Onimaru, Demon Ma I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and Kuze, Kuze's like nickname, Kusanagi, is after the sword he used to slay uh, Orochi, oh. the great serpent. Orochi. Yeah. That's, that's, that's... Maru? A... No. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> but, like, all of them are named after weapons. Like, all of the, like, national treasures are, like, Suji, you know, Maru, Kuze, Sada. I don't remember anyone else. Me neither. Those are the national treasures, I think. Yeah? But, yeah, they're all named after mythical swords. And Which is this... sweet. <clears throat> yeah. But cool. And it's Wait. got this really cool aesthetic when uh, we're in the ring and they're all... When they do their special attack or takedown. They're all charged up and their spirit's showing and their eyes and hair are flaming. Except for, except for Coach. He, he looks like a goddamn ghost. Yeah. When he wrestles. He, he's, he's like a... He's like, yeah. You ever watch a horror movie, and there's, there's that shit trying to s sneak up on you or something? Yeah. He looks like that, right? Just concentrated and silent. And scary. Scary guy. But so cool, like everyone, right, dude? Yeah. Like I post like. Check the doc. Did you see the picture I posted? Posted it's where? In the, it's in the doc for Hinomaru. Says I can't get it anywhere else. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Head Fitting pivot throw! Vortex slice! Show them the weapon of those with the inferior bodies. Use hardened technique. And then fucking deletes the guy. Right? <laughs> it's like... Oh my wamo shinderu. He yeets and deletes him. Cause he's, he's throwing I think, him. I think this is the anime where you could say that people get yeeted the most. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Getting yeeted and deleted is something that pleases me greatly with this show. 
<laughs> Just watching people get yeeted about. So. So what? Let's talk about the music real quick. It's a fucking bang. It's filled with bangers. So, the first ED of the show, Izuru Basho by Happy Heads Naniori, mm-hmm. is my absolute favorite song in this show. I know that one, and that that was my favorite song in the show. I love it so much that I looked up the band and I've been listening to their music. As one does. The animation's not as good as the mon- as like the like manga panels, but and it's kind of janky in some scenes. But it overall, it's kind of enjoyable, right? When it gets to the fighting, it's like they saved all the budget for like the swift, brutal fights. Yeah. Like as, you, as someone who hasn't read the manga, I don't really have anything to compare it to. So. On that point, I just really love the anime. It's really great. But I have to bring this up because I know it bothers you. What? I love the second OP. But it made me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. (laughs) The second OP is called Be the Naked. It's by a, a band called Lead. I and do not want to be the it is, It's so... I love it. I love it so much. It's so catchy. It's be hype, the naked, be the naked. I will not. <laughs> it, it's, a, it, it's a banger, but it's like... I, I was dealing with one uncomfortable ED at the time, so it's sort of crept up on me. <laughs> So JoJo's was already trying to seduce me. Because <laughs> uh. I originally started watching this when JoJo's came out. Yeah. Well, this was part way through when JoJo's came out. I know they started at the same time. Hmm. But this one changed EDs before. Well, changed OPs before JoJo's did, and EDs. And I watched the uh, this and JoJo's like back to back. Yeah. Religiously. To the point where someone caught, tried to attempt to get me to do something before I watched Hino Maru, I'd stare at them and not fucking do it. Because oh. <laughs> it's Hino Maru o'clock. I watched the clock and set alarms for when the episodes came out, dude. <laughs> I That's woke dedication. up. I woke up for the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> And then half an hour later, I watched JoJo's. Yeah. Or, or sometimes JoJo's before if I fell asleep later than expected. I did that a couple times, but w- but with one anime specifically this season, and that Slime? was well, <laughs> we'll get to that eventually. But yeah. it was actually Mob Psycho 100. Oh shit. Season two that I woke up on time to watch the episode. Because oh I do D&D later in the days that it would come out. So I, I, if I wanted to watch it when it came out, I had to get up early. It's like the time I watched an episode of My Hero Academia when it aired, which is 3 in the morning. My <laughs> time. And your time. Yeah. But moving on. Yeah. That OP felt really uncomfortable to go from JoJo's going like, Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny to be the naked. It, it, are those seriously the lyrics? Yeah. To the JoJo's? <laughs> oh, so it's I can't very wait to watch it. R&B. I, I need to finish Diamond is Unbreakable before I move on to... Absolutely. But, oh my god, it's Far too... The two back-to-back is why I disliked it. (laughs) Does that make sense? Yeah, I getcha. JoJo's was already trying to have its way with me. I didn't want another anime to try and bang me. Well, I'm pretty (laughs) sure it was just... They're talking about being naked because... In sumo wrestling, you're just wearing a belt. And that's it. Well, you're wearing a loincloth. 
Oh, so you, yeah. But basically, yeah. You're basically Nike. Right? Yeah. They're singing about, Be the naked, be the naked! I'm like, and yeah! You be naked and kick the shit out of people! <laughs> and I'm like, no! Put your pants back on! <laughs> JoJo's is already taking off its pants. Oh boy. Oh god. But no, music's great. As well as the little end, like the post credit, end credit scenes, right? I actually forgot about most of those. Same. But I, I caught a few. Uh, let's see, what are their names? Reyna. And, oh god, what is her name? I'll look it up. Reyna and, uh... Ori? Yeah. Ori. Be Reyna and Best Girl. Uh, gonna have to fight you on that one. Meet me in the ring. Oh, boy. Oh, oh fuck, you'd win that sumo match. I don't know, my back's pretty bad. Dude, all you'd need to do is just shove me and I'm gone. Right, wheelchair. No, the one way they actually give it a shot for themselves was really funny. Yes. Right? Reina versus Hori. They're... <laughs> so I guess it's forbidden for girls to participate in sumo wrestling. Professionally. Which I think is really stupid. It is stupid. But watching them go at it was really fun. And Hinamaru walks in while Reina's flipping Hori on her back. <laughs> and he sees up her skirt and he's and they're freaking out. They're like, oh god, did he see up our skirt? And he's just like and then they like corner him and they're like, What did you see? He's like, I saw you two sumo wrestling. Nothing else. It was like what you know that image of, like, somehow that's, like, got a hot chick in it, and then it's got, like, some crazy, like, merch or a, a good computer in it? Or Wait, something? What? No, there's, like, this image that's got, like, this really hot chick in it, and a really good computer. Oh. And some people go, what girl? And oh. that, it kind of reminded me of that. <laughs> He's like, what panties? I see sumo. Because that's yeah, all he really cares about. He's like, is this sumo? No. Not interested. Uh God, so whack, but great. Right? I am praying for a second season, because I want to see more. I enjoy reading manga, but it's nothing like seeing something you love being animated. Absolutely. As... Much as I love the manga, I really think the animation really made some of the fights more worth. Yeah. Like, even the little matches were hype, right? Like, the first tournament was the hypest shit, and that was just one episode. We got hyped just watching the first-time coach and Hinomaru spar. Yeah. The show oozes hype, right? Absolutely. So much hype. So, uh, What's your got favorite anything moment? else? Uh, no. Did you got you? You said your favorite moment, yeah? We did. Well, our favorite fight. Yeah. But we have favorite moments outside of fights, like the time they all went to a buffet together. Oh, that was fun. Hilarity ensues. I don't really think I do have a favorite moment outside of a fight. That's fair enough. Because the My most emotional moments were in the yeah. fights. My favorite moment outside of the fight was goes to uh, Suji's Mr. Miyagi-esque training. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, he's just like, do stomps on a boat, collect fish, yeah. slap, slap some uh, dangly things. That, that reminded me so much of uh, Hajime no Ippo. Really? Yeah, because that, that's another fighting anime about boxing. And Classic. Ippo had so much potential starting out because he was a fisherman. 
He worked with his mom at a uh, a boat rental place, and he all he already had such great balance from working on the ship every day. It's, yeah, I like that. But yeah, the show's great. Well, I just I, as much as I love the anime, I'm just bummed that the manga skipped out on some of the character development for like Reina and stuff. Yeah, they. That being said, they still packed a whole lot of content into this first season. Yeah, they definitely did. They went lightning fast. It's like, oh hey, there's few ups. We already have an tournament arc. <laughs> they they did not waste their time doing a tournament arc. No. It was wonderful. This show is tournament arcs. It's tournament arcs that anime. In a good way. So, final um, thoughts. Well, uh, I really like the show. Music's pretty good. The animation's okay. The art, the the still shots are okay, unless they're fighting. Then they're wonderful. Everything's average up until the fighting starts. <sighs> it's like that's where the budget went into crafting the greatest fight scenes I've seen since JoJo's. Well. This was enjoyable. It was very <clears throat> enjoyable, my dude. Definitely one of my favorite this season. It was one of my favorites this <clears throat> season besides Dororo, which I haven't finished yet. Or JoJo's. Definitely gonna talk about Dororo when it finishes. Most definitely. Because that's being slept on too, except maybe by some people. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. If you want to watch Hinamaro Sumo yourself, you can watch it on Funimation or Crunchyroll. Also, the manga just got licensed, so expect it over here soon. Sweet. I know. Uh, what kind of ranking would you give this? I give the show, uh, like, 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10 seems fair. 7 out of 10, as much as I love this show... There are parts that definitely could have been better, right? Yeah. And depending on its success this season, if it does get another season, I I, I can't wait to see how they'll improve it if Absolutely. we do get another one. But yeah, it's pretty good. Well, we've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. The Night Parade has now come to an end. Next week... That time I got reincarnated as a slime. You are the slime now. <laughs> what? Did I say something weird? Nah. I See ya. See ya. Bye.